Suresh Kumar. My channel name is Sun Suresh Kumar. Today I am going to start the series How to Solve Questions Without Mistake Tips and Tricks. Today's topic is How to Answer Bond Order Questions Part 3. I have posted three questions in part one video. Thank you very much for your response. Based on your answers, I have done analysis and posted three posted that analysis in part two video. I have found some common mistakes. In this video, I will explain why they did that mistakes. How did they attempt that questions? What mistake they may do in their examinations? Okay, let us move to the topic. Bond order for 20 up to 20 electron system for diatomic molecules or ions. If we know bond order of diatomic molecules or ions, we can solve the following bond, order, bond length, bond strength, bond dissociation energy or bond energy, bond st stability or stability, IR stretching frequency, magnetic properties. Okay. Bond length is bond length is directly in, inversely proportional to bond order. Bond strength is directly proportional to bond order. Bond dissociation energy or ener bond energy is directly proportional to bond order. Bond stability or stability is directly proportional to or stability of molecule or ions is directly proportional to bond order. IR stretching frequency is directly proportional to bond order. If we know the bond order we can calculate molecular uh, magnetic properties of uh, diatomic molecules or ions. If the bond order is even, the uh, molecules or ions are diamagnetic. If the bond order is odd, the dia diatomic molecules or ions are paramagnetic. Okay, these are some advanced topic. If we know, how can we calculate bond order? Bond order, this is the formula for bond order. Using this formula, we can calculate bond order. Bond order is equal to 1 by 2 Nb minus Na. Nb is the number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital. Na is number of electrons in antibonding molecular orbitals. Bond order in electronic configuration to for up to 14 electrons uh, uh, different electronic configuration more than 14 electron molecules have different electronic configuration i will show the electronic configuration okay uh, this is electronic configuration for up to 14 electron system for molecules this is electronic configuration for more than 14 electron system for up to 14 electron system you can i only give the 2p orbitals can see only 2p orbitals I give only 2p orbitals are differ for 40, up to 14 electrons and to more than 14 electrons you can in this area you can see the changes and 2p orbital pi 2py pi 2p is set sigma 2py comes down like this but in more than 14 electron system sigma 2px come lower energy have lower energy but in more than up to 14 electron system sigma 2px have more energy so some questions they may ask in like that only and <coughs> you can see in more than 14 electron system the arrangement is in symmetrical arrangement uh, these is our bonding or um, bonding orbital molecular orbitals is their anti-bonding molecules so these two comes in, in mirror image so we call it as a symmetrical arrangement but in up to 14 electron system you can see the difference uh, these are not in symmetrical so we call it as a asymmetrical arrangement okay so based on this arrangement we can uh, prepare a shortcut for this bond, bond order calculation so this is the bond order calculation uh, shortcut so i will show how to draw the bond order trick if we ask in exam we just draw one straight line then draw a triangle like this like this then 
bigger one okay let's start like this then draw one straight line then draw the straight line then three lines hmm? one two three okay you can start from zero if the total will turn zero the bond order is zero the bond total returns uh, it returns one bond order is 0 0.5 the bond order is two bond bond order is two uh, uh, total return is two bond order is one and you can write like this two three four five six seven eight so these are have the same three zero point five four zero five 0 0.5 for 6 1 8 comes 0 8 after that 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so up to 20 returns we can calculate the bond order using this formula so <coughs> 1 3 total returns 1 3 5 7 9 19 0 0.5 2 6 10 18 bond order is 0 0.1.0 1 .0. for 11 into 17 bond order is 1.5 12 into 16 bond order is 2.0 13 into 15 bond order is 2.5 for 14 bond order is 3.0 you just remember that uh, the bond order is 14 and for 3 14 the total a uh, bond order 3 for 14 will transfer system so only one exceptional case that is carbon monoxide plus positive charge have bond order 3.5 so other species have bond order 3.0 that is the maximum this is only the only one exceptional so you just remember this sometimes they ask in exams exceptionals so 3.5 for carbon monoxide co plus okay so how can you remember if you uh, forget this you just uh, write 14 the bond order for 14 is 3.0 uh, 16 15 16 17 18 19 20 write like this then you reduce 2.5 2.0 for 17 1.5 for 18 returns 1.0 for 19 0 0.5 20 0 for 13 2.5 12 2.0 11 1.5 10 1.0 9 0 0.5 0 okay so you can use this trick or this trick for your examinations okay but in uh, uh, magnetic property we can uh, we have some exception for magnetic properties for uh, 10 electrons and 16 electrons we expect uh, we expect that uh, diatomic we expect that di atomic uh, sorry and di uh, diamagnetic diamagnetic sorry diamagnetic we expect that but 10 electrons and 16 electrons have are paramagnetic because their arrangement is differ up to 14 electrons comes under 10 electron system and 16 comes under more than 14 electron system so where we when we um, apply this for example 10 electron system if we put 10 electron system and add 1 2 2 4 6 8 1 electron comes here and 1 electron comes here so 
So this total 10. So two odd electrons. So two odd electrons. So the 10 electron system become paramagnetic. In 16 electron system, you can fill the electronic configuration 1s2, 1s star, 1, sigma 1s star 2, sigma 2s2, sigma 2s star 2, sigma 2s, 2px2, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16 here also two odd electrons okay so only these 16 electrons comes in paramagnetic and 10 electrons comes in the diam paramagnetic so that is the exception for even number even bond order okay so just remember this so even bond order for six, 10 electrons and 16 electron that is paramagnetic so using this trick you can answer the question very easily okay we can solve some problems using this trick so here this is the first question i have asked this question in part one video if few of you answered correctly okay so we can go to the question the molecule in which the bond order increases up to addition of one electron is so we they asked one electron addition if they are add one electron plus one electron what will the bond order so which one will increase the bond order okay if we know the total electrons we can calculate the bond order using our trick okay so for oxygen one single we have two oxygen atom oxygen is eight electrons or uh, total electrons eight two oxygen at atom two into eight sixteen boron two into 5 10 electrons total electron 10 phosphorus p2 2 into 7 14 electrons nitrogen 2 into 7 14 electrons so we know p or p block boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine this arrangement uh, nitrogen phosphorus so these are the arrangements so total electrons are in five six seven okay so bo for boron total electrons is five we have two boron two into five ten for oxygen total electron is eight so two into eight sixteen electrons for phosphorus so total electrons is 7, 2 into 7, 14, nitrogen 7, so 2 into 7, 14. So we know the trick. So this is the trick for our bond order calculation. So 14 for 14 electrons, that is bond order is 3. Okay. What they ask addition of 1 electrons. If they add 1 electron, 14 becomes 15. So bond order of 15 electrons is 2.5. So these two answer cancelled out. Then we can check. <coughs> it's 13, 12, 11, 10. Okay. For 15 and 13 and 15, 2.5. 16 and 12, 2.0. 17 and 11, 1.5. Or 18 and 10, 1.0. Okay. In here <coughs> we have 10 electron uh, 16 we can check 16 if we add one electron that becomes 17 add one electron that becomes 17 the bond order reduces so we can cancel the oxygen then the only one option for boron so boron the 10 electrons we add one electron that that becomes 11 electron total electrons 11 so bond order for 11 electrons is 1.5 so 1 to 1.5 so the answer is boron that is the correct answer next the bond order of bond order of c2 molecule is c2 molecule <coughs> bond order of c2 molecule is 
so the same principle we can apply so we know bond carbon uh, total electron is 2 6 c2 so two carbon atoms are there six uh, carbon six and total electrons total electrons and car car carbon molecule c2 molecule is 12 so the bond order 12 for 2.0 so from this trick we can easily answer this and question we don't need to calculate the we, need, we don't need to write electronic configuration and other arrangements so we just use this trick we can easily answer this question very simply another question this questions they uh, did many mistakes so i will explain why they did mistakes so we know uh, the bond order of oxygen box uh, previous uh, question we calculated bond order for oxygen is 16 bond order of oxygen is 16 bond order uh, bond order is, is the total electron is 16 bond order for 16 is 2.0 bond order is 2.0 bond order is 2.0 okay using this we can uh, identify the bond order first then we can identify the paramagnetic diamagnetic or any anything we can calculate using this okay so next to two plus so removal of one electron from the total electron 16 minus 1 equal to 15 electron 4 2 minus 16 minus or plus 1 minus mean plus 1 electron addition of 1 electron 17 electron total electrons are 17 electrons 4 2 2 minus means, means 16 plus 2 2 electrons are adding 2 so 18 electrons so we know the trick we know the trick once again enter the trick top 14 bond order is 3.0 15 2.5 16 2.0 17 1.5 18 1.0 19 0.5 here 16 2.0 15 2.5 17 1.5 18 1.0 so based on this we can arrange the bond order first okay so for o2 o2 bond order is 1.5 so here two 1.5s are there 2 1.5 or 2 2 1.5 so we know <coughs> o, o2 minus 1.5 this or this so we will come why this which one is the correct one oxygen we already know 16 and uh, this is comes under the exceptional because the electronic configuration is like this 16 like this we will get two electrons here so two odd electrons are present so o2 is paramagnetic and o2 bond order is 2.0 2.0 only one we can answer this this is the correct one if you remove one electron from this again the, the bond order is reduced for O2 the paramagnetic O2 plus 2.5 is the paramagnetic so just to remove one electron the oxygen O2 plus ok if we add one electron extra here one electron so this become two but here one odd electron so O2 minus the bond order is 1.5 again we have one odd electron so that also paramagnetic O2 minus that is paramagnetic 1.5 paramagnetic first one this is paramagnetic and the O2 2 minus of 2 electrons here 
we add one more return so this become 2 both become 2 so what 2 2 minus so bond order is 1.0 diamagnetic 1.0 what to be 0 diamagnetic so from this the answer O2 2 minus this one 1.5 paramagnetic P P 1.5 paramagnetic Q 2.0 paramagnetic R O2 plus R1 2.5 paramagnetic O2 2 minus 1.0 diamagnet this is the correct answer so once again repeat so we can use this formula and calculate the bond order easily using this trick <coughs> so o2 2 minus 16 total electrons is total electron 16 electron o2 plus 16 minus 1 15 electron o2 minus 17 electron o2 2 minus 18 electrons so using this uh, premise we can we can uh, identify the bond order easily then we can use this electronic configuration and arrangements we can identify the exact arrangement of the electrons so based on this arrangement only one is the diamagnetic species that is nothing but <coughs> Uh, our, uh, O2 O2 2 minus O2